Hey kittens, so today's an unboxing video and today I'm unboxing two velvet collars from Wooden Fox. Uh, I'll be leaving a link down below to her Instagram and Etsy because I found them via Instagram. I find most of the shops via Instagram nowadays because it's actually quite a good way to find shops because on Etsy it's kind of hard to find stuff sometimes I find. Anyway, as you guys know, I like my velvet collars and of course it's got gold hardware I believe that she, she did specially order in the gold buckles because I had been asking and then she also went and bought uh, the velvet that I wanted specially because I was like, I would like velvet. I only wear velvet buckle collars. But anyway, first things first though. This is packed really, really bad. If you're ever sending something, you can at least send in a bubble mailer. This isn't even packed in a bubble mailer. I'll find out if anything's actually wrapped inside, but it'll just send in a plain envelope. I would never do that and I would personally recommend to anyone to never do that because I do not trust the mail service. They are not gentle with their things. Things get broken, things get wet. And if that's that, I know once it's out of their hands, it's not their problem or it's not their responsibility, but still there are things you can do to ensure that things do get to their destination safely. So never do this, please, never ever do this. Please send it in a bubble mailer, at least. It needs protection. I did also have to pay customs, but again, that's out of their hands and I'm used to paying customs for literally everything now. But anyway, let's get it open. Okay, so we've got a little bit of, uh, okay, we've got a little bit of a sort of business card care sheet. It also says there's, oh, there's a discount code and there's how to care for them. You can wash them by hand, which is quite good. That's nice, that's nice. Um, Okay, so they did come wrapped in tissue paper, but that's not really something that's going to prevent things from getting damaged. Uh, what I did order was a black velvet collar. What I did order was a black velvet collar and a purple velvet collar. And yeah, oh, it looks like I got some bonus stuffs, which is nice. Oh, I just spotted a hole in the bottom of the envelope as well. Yeah, got my invoice. And ho oh, oh, yeah, so I did get some extra charms, which is really nice. I might use them as a placeholder until um, the charms for all my stuff arrives because I'm waiting to get a one of them. The black collar is going to go with a tag I've already got from Nixa Crafts and then the purple collar I'm waiting for Nixa Crafts to get her mold in so I can get my shaker tag from her. But we've got these cute little, if y'all can see, these cute little pulps, these cute little pulp charms, they're resin, they're super cute and adorable. The purple one will be adorable to use as a little one until my thing comes on. I might turn this one into a keychain. We'll see. We'll see. And then that's her business card, which is really cute. It's a drawing of her and it's super adorable. Okay, okay. So let's open this one. It's got a bit of ribbon on it, which is cute. And uh, don't need the ribbon. Aha, this is the black one. Now, this is the first collar that I've bought, which is made for humans. All my other collars are actually bought from an actual pet store for animals, which is why I've never unboxed any of them, because obviously that's weird for them, and that's not their intended purpose and all that, but it is applying for humans to use, even though I'm not a human. But okay, so, ooh, this is my first ever one made for humans. It doesn't seem to have... Okay, so it doesn't have the firm sort of webbing that my pet ones have, which is interesting to me. Finish is a bit interesting as well, because these ones were actually a bit more expensive than the ones... Wait, which one's more expensive? No, they're actually a little bit cheaper than my pet ones. But I'm wondering if the softness will make it a bit more pleasant to wear, etc. There's not really much to see here because it's black and you can't really see black, but it's... It's as you would expect. It looks like it will be very comfy and I'll find that out later for you. Because, like I said, there's no webbing, which may make it a bit more comfy, but interesting. Okay, so that's quite nice. And all that. And as well the black velvet. And all that. Some of the finishing work is a bit sort of, uh, what are you doing kind of thing. Like, you've got some loose threads here. You can't see it! It's black! It's black! You can't see it! Okay, but there is sort of some loose thread here. You can see that a little bit there. So, I think, in my case, I may default to buying from my tried and trusted colour provider. Because, as you can see, the... Uh, stitch work isn't all completely like, I know it's handmade and everything, but still, 
um, it's not quite well finished. I mean, she has a whole little label here, which is quite cute. I do hope that it's not going to be itchy on my skin at all because what I can feel here, it's a bit rough in these little bits here. So I do worry that might be a bit itchy. That's just something to be aware. If you guys want to know where I get my actual made for animals colours, let me know down below and I'll tell you because I do highly recommend those ones because they are very comfy and the stitching and everything is seamless, it's perfect. So this one, all in all, sort of, I'm definitely concerned about getting itchy because I think there's a little bit of glue here as well. You, you guys may think I'm nitpicking but this is something that I've bought with the intention of wearing frequently. I wear a collar every single day because I quite enjoy them. And so I need to make sure that it's going to be as comfortable and doesn't irritate my skin, which is why I purchased velvet, because velvet is very soft and it's forgiving on my skin. So, so far I'm kind of like, in terms of the service she gave me ensuring that I got what I wanted, good. But in terms of the product itself, so far, while it's a good finish, I'm not as impressed and will likely go back to buying from my regular place because after I bought this they then went and introduced black velvet collars to their thing too and I was just like god damn it you know <laughs> and obviously I'm more likely to buy stuff from UK based sellers because I don't have to pay customers but anyway moving on to the Nayax collar oh, see they don't have purple in the, in the shop yet which is why I was happy I could get a custom purple one now this one is quite interesting she's sewn on another tag as well see what i don't like here is the fact it looks like this sort of glue on these bits here i just worry about things which may potentially irritate my neck because my neck's really sensitive and stuff and these are things which may potentially scratch like scratch and itch me because on my other ones we don't have this little sort of ridge right here so that may be an issue we will see I do love this colour. The finish is the finish is better, but there is a little bit of like what the hell? What what is this? This little bit here, can you see that? It's got um because oh, it's dark there guys. So you can see that she, that she's accidentally run off the stitch off the side here, so it's bunched up the material. So like I said, you guys may feel I'm being a bit too nitpicky, but I don't know. They are very nice, but they're lack they don't have the foam webbing I'm used to. So that's interesting. It if it doesn't have foam webbing, it sometimes means that it's not gonna sit as like nice and flush and have like the support. So I don't know if I'm all that impressed, to be honest you guys. I'm really sorry about that, but <laughs> I don't know. It is well made. It is it is it is well made. Well, I don't know. It's just that there are some elements which look unfinished, like the ends here. You see what I mean? Like if I go grab one of my other collars, you see with my, uh, these are the ones which are made for animals, they have like really firm webbing inside. So it's quite firm. This one's a bit more giving because I've worn it quite frequently, but all the finishing work is like neatly rolled over. So you see in here, in the finishing at the end here, they've rolled over the velvet so that there's no bits which are going to rub against my skin. Or in that case, or on the animal's neck. But in the case here, the velvet has just simply been just sort of cut across. So we've got this sort of abrasive bit right here, which I'm not quite fond of, especially because that bit, well, you see here, because these bits are going to be against my skin. Whereas with this one, it's completely soft and smooth. So even though it's against my skin, there's nothing to irritate me. But here, I, it's rough. This is probably going to irritate my skin, so. We'll see! We, we will see, you guys. There's no true test until I've worn it, but I'm also one who is very hypercritical of work, of handmade things, because obviously I handmake things myself. I'm extremely hypercritical of things which can be easily done if a little bit more attention is paid to it, etc. So... I'm not that impressed. It's they, they are both very nice, but the finishing... There are some things which could have been done better, neater, with a little bit more time and care applied and I already know that these bits here are gonna rub against me and I'm not going to like that so what can I do but anyway this is why I buy these things so you guys know where to get the good stuff I would recommend the one that I get from regularly 
again if you want to know just send me a message on Instagram or on here and I'll let you guys know where I get those ones from and I will do a more sort of update on Instagram about these once I've worn them a little bit more so you guys can know if there's more of an update on that because I only post these on Instagram after videos so depending on what you guys know my upload schedule is terrible <laughs> anyway if you guys do want to get your hands on these I will leave the link down below she will have to order in gold buckles specifically because I used both of them up and all of that but like I said I these ones are a little bit heavier I think the buckles are a little bit bigger but we, we will see because I I'm used to my proper animal ones which are really nice and comfy these ones do have minor flaws, They're, they are minor flaws, but to me every flaw is a big problem because I can't abide by flaws, that's just a thing that happens when you make stuff. You get really picky and you're like, okay, but that could be done better kind of thing. But anyway, I do love the little cute extras, very, very cute and all that. But anyway, like I said, keep an eye out on the Instagram post to see if I do a more sort of update about it on whether it's comfortable to wear, if those things do scratch me like I anticipate they will, etc. But anyway, if you enjoyed this unboxing slash review, don't forget to give a little I can't speak. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you like to be, hit that subscribe button, join the family of kittens. Because yes, we're adorable. All my social media links are down below, so check them out if you like. Instagram is my most active, obviously, so if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen a sneak peek of this video. Because you know, we like to get a little bit meta on this channel. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed! Click the circular channel icon to subscribe. To watch more videos, click any of the videos down below. See you in my next one!